this uh, is the English uh, Super Plus dryer. It's around four years old, which I determined based on the electrical schematic at the back. It has a listing of the patents and the last patent is in, in 1978. It uh, wasn't used for the first 18 years since we moved into the house and uh, it was used very slightly and uh, but so for the last four years we've been using it uh, quite a bit we've been putting it through the rigor and uh, it's uh, held out quite good I myself personally use it four to five hours at a time and uh, I hardly give it a rest but uh, I was using it on December 2 not 2019 and uh, that's just a few days ago and uh, it just stopped but I noticed later there was a very quiet buzzing coming out of it when it was turned on uh, and uh, still connected to the power uh, but uh, we ordered a new one anyways, one that's more energy efficient than it. Uh, uh, that's uh, before I realized that uh, it's possibly a fuse broke and uh, it might just uh, need a simple fuse replacement which uh, I found out by searching the model number which I discovered here when you open the door I didn't realize it uh, was here I was looking at the back the logical place where it should be and uh, so it was too late to try to replace the fuse before getting a new one because I didn't realize it was a possibility that the fuse broke and uh, but we had good fortune they were coming to deliver the new dryer today and uh, they told us for I don't know what the reason I think it's for liability purposes they're not willing to remove this duct we ordered a new duct but even if we hadn't ordered and they weren't gonna install a new duct. They weren't gonna touch this duct at all. They weren't gonna remove either end, whether the end connected to the dryer or the to the wall. They're not gonna touch the old duct connections. We, we, it was our responsibility, but the salesperson didn't uh, inform us this. Well, it's good fortune for us since now we can try to change the fuse which is only uh, ten dollars and uh, you know save on the price of a new dryer and uh, but uh, this dryer also doesn't use uh, a lot of electricity i noticed because uh we used to have many more people living in the house 
and uh, we didn't allow anyone to use the dryer uh, even us we didn't use the dryer when they were living here and the electrical bill was uh, probably a hundred percent higher than what it comes to now after those people moved out and we started using that dryer so it's uh, not a big factor on the energy bill although i asked google home and it tells me a washer and dryer is 13 percent of the air's energy bills and it is the biggest energy consumer in a household and um yeah so this uh, 70s era looking dryer might be salvage and you know it's just an ambience to it so uh, you can tell it's from the 70s it's uh, built like a tank you know they don't make them like this anymore uh, we're gonna get the same brand because uh, it served us well and uh, we found that the other uh, dryer about the same size as this actually used uh, less electricity about a third less electricity than uh, the newer model of the newest model of this dryer so you know, we had to go with our own interests rather than loyalty and uh, we chose to get the more energy efficient dryer which would save us big on the electricity bill but uh, we'll see if this can be salvaged and uh, yeah there's some things to consider before throwing out a new dryer yeah i realized uh, when I, the last time i was using it before it burned out i realized i forgot to clean the lint uh, sifter i forgot to clean it and uh, i said heck with it i'll let it run uh, until it finishes the, the drying cycle uh, you know for the last time and then i'll clean it and uh, you know the, on the next load it stopped working and uh, when i was looking at what causes uh, the fuse to blow up uh, it said overheating so i think there's a good possibility that the fuse popped so there we go uh, uh, maybe this relic will live on